Okay, let's do a 12 to one. And I'm gonna convert it to an 18 to one without too much more difficulty. Um, but uh, 12 to one's fairly powerful. Uh, so we're gonna keep a 12 to one to something that's quite heavy like this tractor. Okay, that's a little mini tractor. Um, but it's still heavy and uh, we want a little bit increased mechanical advantage for pulling something like that. So we need two things. We need the load, which is the tractor, and then we need an anchor, which is going to be this tree. Okay. So I'm going to show you a 12 to 1 first, and then we'll convert it to an 18 to 1 in case you need an increased mechanical advantage. So. All right, let me put this on my head. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we are going to take our rope and let's tie a figure eight on a bite. and pretty here okay remember on an even mechanical advantage system you're gonna have that rope is gonna terminate at the anchor okay so we'll take a carabiner and this is gonna start our process right here so let's move on out to our load And on my tractor, I've got a draw bar here with all these handy dandy holes, which makes it really nice. Well, we're gonna load a single. Okay. So we're gonna come back to our anchor. We're gonna load another single. Away. Yeah, I may move that down a notch just, just to keep it clean. Okay. All right, we're going to come back to our load again. Make sure you have enough rope for this. I've got 150 feet. Uh, it's gonna eat up some rope. Okay. We're gonna come back down again. And we're gonna load another single. Stick it in the center. Yeah, what I'm creating initially is a four to one. Okay, this is going to be a compound compound system, and so at this stage of the game, we have a four to one. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting a three to one, three to one simple system on a uh, four to one. So anytime you do that, you multiply the forces. Three times four is 12, okay? So right now I've got a four to one in position. So we're gonna come back all the way down here. And you can see I've already eaten up 150 feet of rope, okay? It doesn't take long. So, but, what I want to do at this stage is I want to get a prusik loop and I'm going to need another pulley, another single pulley. And that last strand, which is coming out of our, I don't know if you can see this or not, these two strands here, 
we're going to tie a triple wrapped prusik. Okay. And if you don't know how to tie one, I've got a video on how to tie this. It's fairly simple once you learn it. Always set your prussics, otherwise they'll slide on you. Let's get a carabiner. in there I need another pulley which I've got down here and I'll grab a single and since I've got the tail handy dandy I'll just stick it through there Okay, so this is a, hopefully you can see what we got going on here. I've got a four to one, and on this last leg, I've created a three to one onto the four to one. Okay, now I've got the tractor in neutral. So I'm just gonna start pulling. Now I don't have a progress capture set right here. Okay, we can do that in a minute, but I want you to see the how the four to one operates with a three to one. You see, I can easily move this tractor. Hopefully my dog will get out of the way. There he goes. Okay, so to reset the system, you, you just want to advance that prusik. And you want to take slack out and do it again. Okay, now notice how easy this is for me. I don't know how much that tractor weighs. It's probably at least a couple thousand pounds. I'm easily moving this. It's, you know, it's flat terrain, but still, this is a 12 to 1. Just like that all right so there you go that's a that is a 12 to 1 mechanical advantage system without a progress capture now if I wanted a progress capture this is around a hill and the tractor were to slide down once I let off we need a way to capture the progress right so to do that we're going to start at our beginning. We've got a, a terminated rope. Okay. Now, which way does this rope want to go if it were to let out? It wants to go this way, right? Okay. So we need to take this strand and make sure it can't go that way. So you just take another prusik. And uh, this is what confuses a lot of people. They don't know what strand um, to do this on. But uh, just take a second and think about it, how the forces are going to be applied. Okay, I've done another triple wrap. And always set your prussics. Okay, then I want to come back to where this terminates at the pulley. And right, let's keep it clean. So that's going to be on this side. Let me get these other strands out of the way. Okay, so I want to, since it's on this pulley, I want to put it on that, put this in the same carabiner. Okay, so now this is on flat ground, so I may not grab as well. But let's advance our system again. And let's see if we can't make that grab. Uh, 
Okay, this leaf is right in my way. Okay. All right, so as I pull, notice this strand here. It wants to go in this direction, right? And if, if this were on a hill, um, it would want to go the other direction. So to set that prusik and I let off, it maintains tension. Even on flat ground, it's maintaining tension on this strand here. Okay, so that's called a pro progress capture. Um, really important on a hill. Okay, we don't want a, a runaway tractor on our hands. Okay. So there you go, that's a 12 to 1 mechanical advantage system. It's a 3 to 1, three, a 3 to 1 simple system acting upon a 4 to 1 mechanical advantage system. Okay, I'm going to turn it off now and then when I come back, we're going to convert this into an 18 to 1, which is uh, really simple. Um, but uh, I'll be right back with that. Okay, I'm back. Had a little bit of a rain shower. Had to wait for, but uh, all right. Before I show you how to convert this 12 to one into an 18 to one. Uh, I want to remind you that anywhere time we have two single pulleys like that, we can always substitute a double. So, um, so if you have a double pulley, you can always put it in there instead. Okay, so I, I could put it one right here, and also where the system comes into the tractor, I could also do the same thing. Okay. Um, it, you know, if you have them, you can use them. If not, singles work perfectly fine. Okay, so let me put this over here. Now let's uh, let's convert this to an 18 to one. If you if a 12 to one is not enough, you can easily convert this into an 18 to one mechanical advantage system. And but it's going to involve two singles at your load. Two single pulleys and you're going to need another prusik now again people get confused about where to put the prusik and the easiest way to show this is um, to start from the beginning so let's just let's do that all right so remember it's an even system so it's going to be terminated at the anchor it starts right here so i'm going to follow my hand on that strand Okay, comes to your first single pulley. Now this pulley is gonna stay here on here. We're gonna be removing this one in a second. Okay, but just to show you, we're gonna follow this all, all the way back. And it goes into our load capture and our second pulley. Okay, so the rope comes through here. Okay, so imagine this pulley pulling on this tail right here. And all you have to do is put a prusik on here and uh, move this pulley over. Okay, it's the same principle as right here. This is the tail of the second pulley, and this is where a three to one comes into play. So, so with one simple move, I can convert this to an 18 to one. And I don't have this diagrammed out with like a T method. I could if enough of you want it, but you'll just gonna have to trust me on this. It's an 18 to one once I get this finished. But I'll be happy to prove it if enough people are confused or Okay, so I'm going to take this secondary pulley off and I'm going to put it right here. Okay, again, make sure your press six are going to grab. 
Okay, now let's put a little tension on here. See what we're dealing with. And I'm gonna move this guy up. Okay, so that's what we're, we're ending up with right here. That is a finished product. It's 18 to one system. Now, you know, the mechanical advantage uh, principles, you know, still hold true. I'm gonna literally gonna have to pull 18 feet of this rope to get this tractor to move one foot. But you can see it's moving. It's very, it's very easy. Okay, our load capture is doing the same exact thing it was doing with the 12 to one. So when I let off, okay, to reset it, um, you're gonna eat up this last system quicker than the secondary. So depending on how far you have to pull this thing, you may get away with just resetting the first part of it. If not, you'll have to, you'll have to reset this too up to there. Okay, so, but that's it. That's an 18 to one and it's, it's a very simple move. Okay, well, hope that helps. Uh, but uh, that's two, uh, two compound systems you can use for heavier loads. So I'll see you on the next one.